Yesterday was Independence Day in Nigeria. Is that correct? Yesterday. I was not really happy. But in the other way around, I was equally happy. Knowing that whatever God is involved, there will be a good ending. Say amen, church. Why was I not happy? There is something the Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 3. God said, I will send you a pastor that will teach you knowledge and understanding. That's what the Bible said. It means that there is for this country to change, there should be an application of knowledge and what? Under understanding. One of the major problems of this country, Nigeria, is our constitution. Our constitution, you see that book of marriage, is one of the major problems of Nigeria. There are a lot of things I needed to talk about, but let me just choose this one. Hear this. Everything is not prayer. They will tell you, pray this, pray that's understandable. If you want a cell, you must have to dwell in a place of prayer. It's understandable. But let me say this. There is knowledge and understanding that need to be applied for us to have peace, unity, justice, equity, and fairness. Sir, do you know if Nigeria legalize or make it lawful that the presidency of this country shall be rotational? Do you know it will attract a lot of peace, a lot of justice, a lot of equity, a lot of fairness? One of the things that will contribute peace in this country is for those who are making our laws, those who are representing our, our constituencies, those who are representing our senatorial sons, who are going there to make law, they should be able to legalize, make it a law that the presidency of Nigeria should be zoned from the north to the south and from the south to the north. If they do it, when it comes to the turn of the south, they can microzone it. When it goes to the turn of the north, they can equally microzone it. Because in every zone, there are east, south, central, and all the rest of them. I want to say this. Thank God for what the president did of signing the electoral law that will at least if not 100%, at least checkmate election rigging in Nigeria. I want to call upon Nigerians to rise up. I am making this announcement from my duty post as a prophet of God, as a voice to the voices. And I'm saying this, those who make our loss, rise up. I say it again. Rise up and make a law that will introduce justice, equity, and fairness in the constitution of Nigeria that will introduce rotational presidency. Rotational presidency. By now, if that kind of law is involved, if President Buhari is rounding up, a southern president should emerge. But there is no such law. It means that anybody can contest from anywhere. If I tell you who this thing is favoring in the spirit to be the next president, you might not wave your head, you might not like it, but I'm not telling you whether you want to like you like it. But if I mention the name, you'll be shocked where the presidency is going. Let there be a law. Let there be a law. I tell you, those that are making our laws, be one. Don't come there. You know, you know the funniest thing, those that make this law, when they go to that chamber, they become more politician 
than a representative of a constituent. I said that again. They become more politicians. You know what politician does is they, they do more of negotiations, play more of personal interest. Not the interest of those they are represented. If you have interest of those you are represented, you will know that there are things we need to checkmate in that place. Our constitution needs to be amended more or totally scrapped to bring something new. We need a rotational presidency. Let nobody wake up and begin to tell me crab. What is the crab? The crab is, if we do rotational, we should be talking about competency. Are you telling me there is no competency in the south? Are you telling me there is no competency in the north? Let me tell you, in every country, part of this country, there is what we call competency. When it is your turn, bring somebody you believe that you can checkmate. Somebody you can go to his house and say, that is not the reason why we voted you. I call upon my fellow youth, Nigerians. I think more requests shall be made unto those at the seat of power. Let there be amendment that will accommodate rotational presidency. Let there be an amendment that will accommodate a rotational presidency. Let there be an amendment that will accommodate a rotational presidency from the north to the south. And this will, in fairness, introduce more of justice, peace, equity, and fairness to the glory of God and to the blessings of Nigerians. May God help our dear country. And today, we want to say more happy independence to Nigeria, to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we celebrate God here?